Sheila's catch. Did I really catch them all of those? Yeah, you caught all of them. I didn't catch them. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, That's so I'm going to cool. show Sheila how to clean a fish, and she's going to clean one herself. And I'm going to film it. <laughs> Hopefully she finishes with all her fingers. I still got my fingers. Barracuda, let me keep them. Did you see what I did there? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I was okay. supposed to be teaching. So I cut down. And then I push the knife through over its spine, you feel it, and then you pop out there and then you just run it down the backbone, right? And you, f I flip it, spin it, whatever, spin it, I guess. And I take the knife and I just start a cut right down its fins very carefully with my thumb tucked away. And just, I just get a little bit of it with the knife all the way to my first cut like that and then i can kind of stick my fingers in here and peel it back and literally just take a little bit and as i take a little bit i can peel it up and look and you can see its spine and all of its bones coming off and then i just cut right down the right down the side of him and then this is his ribs all up in here there's a lot of bones so i just cut i leave the ribs in the fish because it's not then you got to cut them out of your meat so i just go right over top of the rib bones and then there you go you get your fillet so that's one half the other half i just flip him over start your cut and then this time I start at the head up here at the V. And I work the blade just kind of like how I did before, just the tip. And I get down halfway to the fish and then I push it through to come out and I just run it down the edge of the fish. And then you can peel it up, cut right down it. There's his ribs, so I just cut right over top of them. And then you got both fillets. Just the head and you, when you can see through it like that clear, you know you didn't leave any meat on the fish. Okay. And then now you got the skin on the meat. I just hold the very tip of it right here with my fingers and get it started enough to where I can actually grab a hold of it. And I basically just wiggle the skin back and forth and cut it right off the right off the skin like that. And then you can see the little flipper meat right there. I like to take all that meat off. Just like some weird little fin meat. And then I cut the bloodline out. Some people don't care and they'll probably leave all that, but I do care and I get rid of it. I don't want to eat that. It's just really fishy not the fishy that i like and the fish like it we'll eat it there we go <clears throat> that's a good pile of meat for just two fish yeah it really is that big one yeah that one decent one really is. i'll let you feel it we still have three more to clean one of them is just barely a keeper, but look at that already. Two fish. It's pretty heavy. 
All right, Shield's gonna try to clean a fish. So you kind of want to go from there to here. Perfect. Good job. And then you're going to push the knife and try to get it to go over the spine and out right at the dorsal fins there. Good job. Push it through. There you go. Now I just saw it. Good job. Perfect. And then I spin the fish this way. And I lift up. And then you're just trying to, f to finish this cut to there. But you don't have to go all the way through the fish. Just go a little bit, okay? Don't go all the way through it. On these little fish, you can. But on the bigger fish, you can't get all the way through them. So I do a little bit. And it's easier to keep your knife flat and stuff. Um, all the way to your next cut. It's hard to hold on to. I know, you're doing good. What you can do if you want to stand them up, that's fine too. There you go, you got it. Good job. And then... I just hold it like that and I peel it up again, okay. however you want to do it, and then just cut it nice and, yeah, like that. Just watch your finger, whatever you do. Yeah, see a little meat you left behind, and now you're getting it back. There you go, good job. Little by little. Perfect. <laughs> that is how that is done. Perfect. And then I spin them and I cut from the fin down to. Alright, and then now turn the angle. There you go, just like that. But then come all the way down. Oh, no, sorry. No, you're good, you're good. And come, come all, all the way down. straight down to the table from there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then I spin them this way. And I cut down about halfway and then push all the way through. Yeah, sometimes that's the hardest part because you're trying to cut through, you know. There you go, you got it. There you go. Alright, and now you're going to try to push that knife flat through it at like to where you're going to pop out right there. Perfect. Perfect. There's usually always that little tiny piece. I spin it this way and then just finish that little cut right there. Careful with your finger right there. Always cut away from you yeah, like that. Gosh, stubborn piece. <laughs> and then I just I hold them up like that. And use your fingers again. Right, right. And, then, and then just cut that down the meat. I feel like I'm not awkward. However you want to hold it to make it less awkward for you. There you go.
Chicken's gonna lay in the water pool. Oh, no. Right in the water puddle. It did pretty good, but really good. Good job. I think you're good. We'll rinse it, get all the scales off of it. <clears throat> Throw it in the bag, throw it in the cooler. Should be good. You left it a little thick there, but that's all right. You ain't got to worry about it now, but that's what I mean. Like, see how you cut straight down? Right, the But if v, you would have yeah, cut at I a V, you, you would have saved a one. lot more of that meat, but the fish are going to yeah, eat it Yeah, I'm tonight. feeding the fish. Tension. So... Sheila's fish. <laughs>